capture one layers and masking brush okay um, so this is the layers under exposure panel you can also find it under color panel and you can also um, come to windows um, go to workspace so go to create floating tool and look for um, layers okay if you select this it will be floating and then you can just um, use it any way you want okay but let us use the one on that exposure panel they all work the same way so if you click this plus button you will add a new layer if you click it again you add another layer if you don't want the layer anymore just press the minus that way you can remove any layer you have created that you do not want anymore okay so let us create another layer and rename it as lips because that is the layer we so because um i want to edit the lips and i don't want whatever i do on the lips to affect the skin or to affect the background or to affect the cloth so that is what that is the essence of capture one layers you can work on different parts of your image individually separately independently so when you're working on the skin tone for example the skin tone has red the skin tone has yellow the lips is color red so it's almost impossible to edit the skin tone and the lips together without affecting one or the other okay but then if you edit them on separate layers you will not affect they will not affect each other so and that's the essence of uh, capture one layers okay so you can open as many layers as you want we can rename this as skin skin tone okay and then we can have another one as probably the cloth or if you still have any other um, any other thing in your image that you want to edit maybe the background on the background is a cup there um, there's a table anything you want to edit just open it just open a layer for it and then you can then work on it separately okay so for example now to work on the lips separately we have to mask the lips on this particular layer okay we have to mask the lips so you can either press b on your keyboard or choose this tool to draw your mask okay you can zoom in right click set the size of the brush to what will work for you okay and then hold them on your keyboard and start brushing over the lips okay so you can brush the edges and then um, right click and choose fill mask okay that will fill everything or you can just continue to brush everything manually okay whatever works for you just go ahead and do it okay so make sure every part of the lips is brushed with this brush with this masking brush okay and then while brushing if you need to erase probably there's a mistake something like this maybe by mistake you have something like this you can just press e or choose this tool to erase it you can also right click on the image to reduce the brush for the razor and then you can just start erasing the mask can you see the way it's working okay so so when you press b or select this tool you will be able to mask any part of the image and then this part we have masked but then you press m you will remove the mask okay but now whatever you do on this layer will only affect the lips that we have brushed over okay can you see press m i'm pressing m to show the mask and to remove the mask okay so now for example if you reduce the exposure of this particular layer consider the only thing affected is the lips okay so if i feel like i don't like the 
that the leaf is too saturated, I can desaturate it here to whatever I want. Or if I feel like it's not well saturated, I can increase it. I, as you can see, it, it, it's not affecting any other part of the image. That tells you that with Capture One layers, you can edit every part of the image individually, okay? And then you can do the same thing for the skin. Press B and start brushing over the skin, okay? And then you can edit it individually here. So that is how to use Capture One layers and that is how to use masking brush. Any part you brush on, that's the only part you will work on, okay?